Weird Kids on the Block. Let's do this. Game made in the early 90s, so of course there's going to be a new kids joke, right? Of course, that's the best way to handle it. What do we got right here? Nothing. Now well, that's not a bad thing, necessarily. Let's just run up here real quick and get this fine-looking feller. Actually, let's go into this house. I think, yeah, there's a baby here that's vulnerable, so we want to save him as soon as we can. Ooh, a key. Silverware. That is a great weapon for an upcoming enemy. And plates, I believe, are fairly powerful, but they're really slow-moving. I'm not very good with them, so I often, when I play, I'll sometimes just leave the plates behind because I'm not too good. And I'm not the best at cycling my weapons. There's some weed whacker ammo. So, uh... As you'll no doubt, uh... Realize about me real quick in this game. Alright. Good enough. Uh, that I tend to try to avoid weapons that don't fit my fighting style. Like, I already left those popsicles, for instance. There's, uh, tomatoes. That's another one I don't like using. Mainly because their specialty is really not that useful. Ooh, mystery potion. Hey, there's a mystery potion right there, but I don't think I'm gonna bother with that. I'm probably just gonna leave that one where it lay. Lay, lady, lay. Lay across my something brass bed. I don't know. Bob Dylan can sing it better than me. That is for certain. Alright, this house, I don't think... Yeah, there's, there's no one in it. I think it's just one of those ones that's here if you're feeling lucky and you want to try to explore cabinets and stuff to get items. Well, I got a key, so that's good. Because early on in the game, I tend to lack keys. As the game goes along, you tend to get more. And, by the way, the these uh, doppelganger enemies that are in this level, they, uh... They tend to only move when you're moving, but that's not a hard and fast rule when it comes to them. Oh, we gotta be careful. There was a teacher right up there. Even though teacher's only worth 10 points and she's giving you an F minus for a mark, doesn't mean you can let her die. Alright, I was just doing that because that baby sometimes has enemies spawn right beside it. Oh, hear that dog barking? That means he's in danger. Of course, as soon as he starts barking, that means that the enemy is definitely locked onto him and not gonna uh, screw around much. I'm gonna come right after him. Alright, uh... Get that teacher. Good. Now, killing these guys... And all those damn mushrooms can sometimes give prizes. That guy gave you... gave a key, for instance. So that's... that that's a good thing. Oh, jeez. Let's just not stand... Oh, that's wide open. Let's go get that. Can I get through here? No, I couldn't have got through there without getting hurt. So there's a little bit of ammo, but hey. First aid kit is a first aid kit. Am I right? No, seriously, is that... Oh, darn it. Well, speaking of tomatoes, I now have some. Maybe I'll find a safe spot later... Ah, oh, crap. I'll find a safe spot later and get rid of them. Maybe I'll just try using them now. They're just... They're really slow weapons. Oh, get away from me. And the enemy they're made, designed to go after, is not the... Oh, I hate when you can't... Oh, there was a mushroom down there, that's why. Oh, wow, it spiked him. <laughs> Let's try if we can take the plant down with a uh, tomato. No, he is taking damage, but he's not taking much damage. He didn't have anything. All right, is it worth to go exploring? Probably not. So let's move on to the next level. Uh, the next level is, if I recall, the first pyramid level. I love the pyramid levels. We're very well designed. Everyone saved, so we get our thousand points, which is good. And here we go, level six. What do you got for us, game? Yeah, more shocking than level five. I love how it's done like the 50s uh, B monster, B movie monster sort of style. Pyramid of fear. You know what I mean? It's pretty sweet. All right, let's go in here, and you can cut. Whoa, hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't like. I didn't like that look in that guy's eye. He was just kind of. Oh, that's a great find right there. That's uh, an artifact. That's a gr it's a great holy weapon. It works well on, um, well, a couple monsters that are coming up in the game. I don't want to spoil the monsters in the game, uh, because there's just so many cool ones. Like, there's the mummy, for instance. You, basically, though, if you can, you can, oh, if you can think of the monster, you can definitely, uh, you can definitely think of its role in this game. And anywhere there's a sarcophagus like that, you can have mummies come out of them at any point. Alright, where is this? That's the entrance. Okay, good. Now, see that area I passed through? Sometimes... I'm shooting right here because often there's a mummy that comes popping out of there waiting to murder you. Um, what was I saying here? Oh, yeah. 
Something important. Hey, get off me. I can't remember what I was going to say now, so I'm just going to move on here. Hey, mummy. They're only worth 100 points. That's the disappointing thing about the mummies. Uh, Weed Whacker uh, destroys them pretty good, if I recall. But uh, honestly, the water pistol does a good job, too, if you give yourself enough space. Those items I'm picking up right there are called Pandora's... Mm, Pandora's Box. They destroy enemies on screen or damage boss enemies pretty well. Ooh, good. More water pistol ammo. Like I said, you can use water pistol ammo to your heart's content because it's never really going to run out. Let's, let's be honest. Ah, there you go. You pass... That's what I was talking about. You pass through those gates, sometimes they'll slam down on you. The only way to break them open is to use a rocket launcher. Also, if you go through them and an enemy's stepping through them as, uh... As they come up, it'll destroy the enemy. Including mummies. Mummies will even die to those, which is kind of funny. Alright, that can probably set off a gate? No, shocking enough it didn't. Alright. Good. And you can see I'm really pushing my uh, luck in regards to the uh, medical kit. That's because... I'm not going back down there to hell with that. Because I want to try to maximize their effectiveness uh, in the game. So we're just going to carefully pick our way here. Let's check how many Pandora's box we got. We have four of them. Okay, that's fine. And actually, right now, we're going to put the speed shoes on as our item. Because the next level, well, we should be careful because we're kind of dead. So before we exit, we're going to use a medical kit just to be safe. And then I'm going to put the speed shoes on but not use them. Because the next level, you want to use the speed shoes right away. Because, actually, I'll stop and explain why you want to do that. There's certain... Hello, mommy. There's certain love Another mommy, wow. There's certain levels where the tourists will turn into werewolves after a set amount of time. So, you want to have your speed shoes ready for those levels so you can run through the level quickly, ignoring everything else and grabbing the tourists before they turn into werewolves. Werewolves suck. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. The next level's pretty cool, and it's got a lot of nice items in it. Especially if you're, you're one for exploring. Which, come on, I know you guys are for exploring. Exploring's awesome. Who wouldn't be for exploring? That would just be silly otherwise. Level 7. Dr. Tong's Castle? Yeah. Castle of Terror. Alright, so the start you're going to go right. So we use that. Get that. You go up here. You run through here. You get those tourists. And you come down here and get those tourists. Jeez. They almost didn't collect. And it only takes like 10 seconds for them to turn into... When you first get in the level, you have 10 seconds to get those three sets of tourists. And basically, you can't do it without uh, without the speed shoes. I don't think you can get to all three sets. So if you're if you haven't lost anybody yet, then that's how you want to do it. And yes, as I said, the zombies will die to anything, literally anything. And that's it for the weed whacking for this level. Thank God. Actually, let's see if I can get rid of the rest of my uh, tomatoes here because I don't like my tomatoes as we've discussed. Uh, no, we don't want to go up there yet. We want to go over this way first. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So slow. There we go. So we got rid of them. And we now have 90 of the artifact. That's awesome. Okay, now we have like a... I think, our, I think it maxes at 99, unfortunately. I don't think it goes any higher. No, it does. Excellent. So we have a lot of artifact, which is good. Because there's lots of enemies that... Ah, oh, crap. That artifact works really well on. Alright, now, one thing about levels like this, there can be hidden stuff along the walls. I don't think this room has anything in it. Uh, get away from me. Yeah, I think we're done over here. So let's go up this way to move on to the rest of the level. I think mummies can pop out of there, so just shoot the fire a few times with your pistol to get on through. Uh, let's go up here. Grab ourselves a bunch of money in a Pandora's box, which is good. And we just gotta be careful, there's three people left to save here. Actually, they might they might all be up behind doors at this point, which would be nice. I don't think there's anything over there, so I'm not gonna bother. Oh, hello, mummy. Let's just be aggressive and take care of him. We'll get that. And we'll just get around here before that mummy pops out again. Get ourselves a monster potion. Come and get me. Come on. No, don't be an ass. Now, let's get okay. That's good. You can leave that baby locked up if you want, because we want to go through this secret passage first. And I'm missing a hidden area, so I have to go back into part of the level. I just remembered one that's pretty important. Say, so, yeah, that guy, avoid him, he blows up. 
put the artifact on and go after Frankenstein. And just walk right up to him and use the artifact till he explodes. There you go. I actually wasn't hurting him at first, so I wasted a little bit of my artifact. But I've been having some luck, as I said, with the artifacts, so nothing wrong with that. And now he's got to carefully maneuver our way through the uh, electrodes here. We get ourselves a ghost potion, a uh, medical kit, and a one-up. And that's pretty sweet. As you can see as well, we're going to get another extra life when we exit the level because we're past 80,000 points, a multiple of 40,000. So we're going to have full lives after level 8, which is... Oh, sorry, level 7, actually, which is awesome. All right, now, where is that item? In these little mazy corridor area, there's an area you can walk into the walls. Now, where is it? Hey, mommy. That was close. He almost got me. Is it over here? There it is. What I just grabbed there is a Martian bubble gun. It allows you to trap stuff inside of bubbles. It's not good for most enemies, but it's pretty good for um, aliens that we're going to run into later. I'll spoil that one because, I mean, come on. You can't have a game like this without aliens. I know they're not monsters, but come on, they're aliens. And there's cheerleaders, they're clearly going to abduct them. B-movies, my friends, B-movies. So we're maxed out, and now we're going to face the first boss of the game, if you will. Every fourth level you tend to be in a tough level, like with tough enemies, or you get kind of boss characters that are in the level. And you saw this guy in the preview. Oh good, water pistol ammo. And now, people have different ways to fight this guy. Because this one can be pretty tough, but I'm going to show you a really easy way to kill this. And I've never read or seen this used anywhere else. You stand right on this square, and you just wait. The baby's going to come over, and then whenever the babies are in front of you, you shoot. The baby cannot hit you when you're here. Well, maybe I should be a little back. Just got to be careful, because you don't want to be too far out on the tile. But... Most people tend to use the room for cover and lob soda cans at the uh, baby as it comes into range. The reason you can't go chasing the baby is one, it moves very fast and it'll hurt you, and two, there's a ton of victims just sitting over here in a field, wide open, and that baby will run them over. Come on, baby. There we go. And you can often get him stuck in a pattern like that. If you shoot, shoot him, he'll often come back for more, like a stupid head. A stupid head baby, that is. Come on, baby. You're gonna die. He can't hit you here. And the other attack, which you may remember from the teaser as well, is he shoots milk. He, he can, he can shoot milk when you're in that house hiding and lobbing uh, soda cans at him. But for some reason, when you stand here, he doesn't attack you with the uh, milk. No idea why, but that's how it works. So you just shoot this baby until the baby dies. The uh, baby actually turns into an extra victim. So say I was at nine victims right now. I lost somebody. I defeat the baby, I can then collect a baby, which will give me an extra victim, so I'll recover an extra victim without having to get the extra bonus victim for every 40,000 points. So that's kind of cool as well. You can make up extra victims now and then. Come on, baby. He's, normally he's a little more aggressive than this. He tends to hang out a little more. Come on, baby. And it's okay if you blow through a bit of water or pistol ammo, because as I'm amply showing, I mean, I shot all those chainsaw guys pretty much, well, half of them with the water pistol, and that was still enough. There we go. So it turns into a baby and drops a skeleton key, and that's the only enemy in this level. Ooh, extra key. Nice. So now we're just going to go through here and find all the uh, items. And we'll definitely go down there and get ourselves another... Uh, another medical kit, and then we're going to go over here and we're definitely going to grab ourselves another Pandora's box. That's another way people kill this baby sometimes. They'll use uh, Pandora's box. I mean, it, it, it's a good way to kill it, but I find the Pandora's box are better safe for later in the game when you need them. So now we're just going to work this open field until I think it's just two victims we have to leave, because there's two victims up here behind a skeleton key door. And we got the skeleton key for defeating the, uh, the big bad baby as they say. There he is, it's an explorer. And if you come down here and look behind this tree, you'll get, a, you'll get some extra money. Some gold coins, as it were. Gold bullion. Oh, you're gonna have to make, you have to make a swim where all the toxic barrels are. How nice of you. How very, very nice of you. So we'll grab these two, and that's it. We're done. So let's see how we did today. I can't believe she's still giving me F minuses. That's just not nice at all. And we'll get our bonus, and our password. 
And to speak on the passwords, people have often said about, you know, I've played older games and the password's like 20 or 40 characters long. And like, you only need four characters. Well, this game has four character passwords. You might think, great. Here's the thing. You use that password, W G uh, W B G R. you'll start at level 9, but you'll only have the basic starting stuff. There'll be 10 victims, you'll have 3 lives, you'll have no weapons and items other than what you start with. So, I mean, it, it's kind of cruel. It's kind of cruel that the game would do that to you, in all honesty. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow's when things start getting mean, for sure, like mean, mean. And I fully expect to start losing some victims in the next four levels, just because it's really easy to lose victims in this game from this point on. Join us then, won't you?